Just told you at noon, Grand Rapids has reclaimed the title of Beer City USA. Here's a look at the standings according to TheExaminer.com. Grand Rapids is the clear winner with 27,005 votes. That's more than half of all the 50,000 votes cast. Kalamazoo came in second with about 11,000 votes. The city that tied with Grand Rapids last year, Asheville, North Carolina, came in third overall. And joining us live here in studio, Mark Sellers. He's the owner of Barfly Ventures. That includes establishments like Hopcat and Stella's, just to name a couple. You guys are still expanding as well. Mark, thanks for coming in tonight. Yeah. Congratulations on the win. Yeah, it's a great day. Great this day for this was Rappers. a one-man initiative for you last year, wasn't it? You were just kind of the only one pushing this. Um, not the only. I mean, there were, there were other people. Uh, but, yeah, we were definitely by far the kind of um, on the forefront of pushing this, um, the voting. We, we used Facebook. Um, and our email list to really try to get people to vote, and it worked last year. We tied with Asheville. This year, everybody was involved. All the breweries, the city, um, the tourism office, the convention office. I mean, it was just a real coordinated effort. It, even the mayor went on a bus tour around <laughs> yes. uh, the city, you know, promoting the, the get out the vote. So, it worked. You guys won it going away, mm -hmm. and I'm just curious. After you won last year, did you notice an uptick in business? I guess what did it do for you? We, we noticed a very definite and pronounced uptick in tourism business. People from out of town. We, we see people every day from Chicago, from New York, from Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio, um, all over the Midwest and even parts farther than that that are in town purely to go beer, uh, bar hopping, brewery hopping. So they go to Vivant, they go to Founders, um, they go to a lot of the other ones. They even go down to Kalamazoo for Bells and they stop into Hopcat and Grand Rapids Brewing Company as well. You were just telling me off camera that last year the city was kind of maybe sitting on the sidelines. They weren't quite sure what to make of it. They really got behind it this year yes. because they see an opportunity to be able to use this as a marketing tool. This is a great marketing tool to get um, convention business, right? Um, if you can market the fact that you were Beer City USA, I mean, 10,000 teachers, they would all love to come to Beer City USA, 10,000 dentists, you know, so convention business now is really picking up in part because of this. Um, and that's not all. I mean, there's a sense of pride in the city. It's fun to be able to brag about something like this. Um, there's other things that maybe we could brag about that aren't as much fun. So but being Beer City USA is great. It's a great thing to tell your friends that live in other states. Um, and so I just think it's good for the city overall, regardless of whether it's purely good for my business or not. I'm just happy to have a sense of pride in my city. Mm -hmm. The craft beer business, we've been talking about how it's really undergone a, a huge transformation. Is it fair to call it a boom? And yeah. how long can you sustain that? Well, there's two, two types of booms. There's the boom that are healthy and long-term, and there's bubbles. Um, a lot of times people call something a bubble when it's not really a bubble. This craft beer thing has been growing at 10 to 15% annually for about 20 years now. Um, so, and it really has a ways to go. It's still craft beer is only about 7% mm -hmm. of all beer sold in the United States, and it's roughly that in Michigan as well. So 93% is by the, by the big three or the big four breweries in the world. The other 7% is by the thousands of other breweries. Right. So there's still a ways to go. There's a lot, a lot of consumers that are just kind of getting interested in craft yeah. beer. So it's not, it's not reached bubble stage yet. And I like the rivalry that's shaping up here uh, between Grand Rapids and Kalamazoo. We might see something on that coming I, down the line. If it were up to me, next year we just merge and, I mean, right. and pretend we're all one big, <laughs> one big city. You know, <laughs> not, not a bad idea. Mark Sellers with Barfly Ventures. Mark, thanks for coming in tonight. Okay. Congratulations again. Thank you.